What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Justice Falls. We back at again with another video, and today we're gonna to be doing things a little bit different. Um, so I've been looking on Twitter lately, and I've been seeing this game, um, for Spoken. This is a game that I've been uh looking, looking, looking into, looking at after for a while. And there's this trailer that's obviously, as you can see right here, getting super ratioed. There's more retweets than than likes, and then people are just clown in the game he cried in the studio after hearing his homies music because they're not making it out the hood <laughs> oh man like the people are just going in on this game slamming this game remaking it saying this could have been better or whatever um you see the comments down here um so we're just going to take a look at it first i have a lot of things to say um, I saw a few reaction videos of other other creators reacting to it and I feel like I have a I had a lot to say about this game because I have been following it and I feel like a lot of people that's trying to shit on this game do not follow the game. So it's just like your your opinion is just like very baseless because you haven't even really checked out the game to see what it's like, to see why this character is how it is. So we gonna just check out the trailer first. First of all, I'm gonna throw my headset my head my uh, headphones on real quick and we're gonna just check out this trailer and then we're gonna look at another we're gonna look at another uh more expansive trailer that more so explains the story for those of you who don't know the game and then i'm gonna tell you guys how i feel about it so here goes the trailer that everybody's like ragging on let's uh full screen it so let me get this straight I'm somewhere that's not what I would call Earth. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing freaking dragons freaking and dragons. oh yeah, I'm talking to a cop. Yep. Yeah, okay, that is something I do now. I do magic, kill jacked up beasts. Uh -huh. I'll probably fly next. And you get a release date. January 20th, 24th. I'll definitely be on the lookout for that because January's right around the corner. Now, people are saying it's cringy, it's whatever. And my thing is, it's a video game, my guy. First of all, they complain about the music, how it's like, you know, it's not really like like the music. But let me listen again. So let me get this straight. I'm somewhere that's not what I would call Earth. Okay, the music is like cinematic. But it has like trap hats. It has like trap hi hats. That's if you who doesn't know what the hi hat is. The tss, 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 that's a, it's the hi hat, and it has like a little eight oh eight bump to it. So it's kind of a hip hop vibe. See, this is what I mean by people. People are people are watching this and listening to this trailer, and they don't really know what the game is about. When all you have to do is go on Google, for spoken. Uh, Google it. Hit the Wikipedia page. Setting and characters. The protagonist, Faye Holland, played by Ella, B Bella, Ella Belinsky, is a young woman who's transported from New York City to the fantasy world of Athia. She uses her magic, she uses magical powers to journey through and survive on her way home. So, again, we see who the main character is. We see this young lady, um, Faye Holland. We see the lady who's playing her, a young black woman. Is playing a young black woman from NYC. Now, I'm from New York City. A lot of people commenting, they don't really know. Hip hop is ingrained in not only culture, period, in America, but it's ingrained in New York City. Like, ev like every young black woman in New York City listens to hip hop. I would say 70% of the people that live here, period, like no matter what your color or race is, your age, listen to some kind of hip hop. Like, so if anything, it's accurate. They put they put the cinematic and from a producer, from a music producer vibe. Let me listen to it one more time. I'm seeing freaking dragons, and oh yeah, I'm talking to a cop. They're giving you the cinematic word. They're giving you the cinematic isekai. I've been transported to another world. That's what, that's what that's what that means. If y'all don't know, I've been transported to another world, and and I'm, I'm fighting these monsters. It's giving you the mystical, magical. Beats is just throwing the high, it's just throwing the hi hats and the 808s underneath it to give it a hip hop vibe because I know this girl listen to hip, listens to hip hop. Like, so I don't, I don't get why people are like slamming this for something. And then the dialogue 
that's literally dialogue that she says in the game. And for me, me personally, I think it fits. I think it fits. Like, just listen to it again. I know I keep playing it over and over. So let me get this straight. I'm somewhere that's not what I would call Earth. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing freaking dragons. Right. And, oh yeah, I'm talking to a cop. Like, if you were if you were from whatever your town you're from, and you got transported to a mystical world, and you had magical powers, how would you be talking? Would you be talking like, I am the great Lucius, and I'm here to save this begotten city. Like, you're not doing that, bro. Like, stop the cap. Y'all not talking like that. Y'all gonna be like, oh, shit. I'm, where the hell am I? It's a, there goes a freaking dragon. Oh, my God. That's how y'all will be talking, too. Especially if you were New, if you were New Yorker. That's how I would be talking. Like, come on now. Like, y'all y'all, really, oh, y'all really killing me with these opinions and all. I've been going through Twitter and listening to reactions to the to, to the trailer. And it's just, y'all, y'all, uh, to me, y'all weird. Like, if y'all was in this, like, and plus video games anyway, like, most of the delivery is, like, cheesy anyway with these type of games. Like, a Final Fantasy or any RPG. Like, I'm going to be the greatest. Like, if you like anime, this should be, if you like anime or any type of, like, like fantasy type of game, you should not be trying to rag on this game. I bet you if this was a Spider Man game and he and he was he was doing his little quirky little quips and stuff, y'all would watch it. I guarantee y'all would watch it. Like that that just comes from y'all not knowing what this character is. She's a young black woman from New York who got transported to a mystical land. I, I don't know about if y'all know any New Yorkers, but we crack jokes about everything, no matter how serious it is. It could be super serious. We're going to crack a joke about it. Like <laughs> that's 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 just a, that's just the facts. You feel me? So maybe 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 um we can watch this trailer here, which is the story introduction trailer that dropped in September of last year. Maybe we can give this uh, uh, uh another uh, another uh another look. Maybe after I've primed you with with information that would, you know, explain why this trailer was like this. Maybe let's watch a longer trailer so we can have a little more context. Let's check this out. Already you're getting hip hop vibes. You're getting hip hop vibes already. I'm a secret, but I'm a pretty big deal. Uh-huh. Real big deal. We are getting out of the city, Homer. I mm -hmm. promise we'll go somewhere that loves cats. You're getting the vibe fights. already. Clean air, bright skies. Pray, pray, pray. She she dreamed about it like <sighs> typical isekai moment. Like I hate here, I want to go somewhere else. Boom! Now you get the fantastical wow. music. You get the Harry Potter fantastical. I'm in another world music. If that happened to you, how how you gonna be talking? How if, if you see a portal and you just wait, got transported to another world? Wait, 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 stop, stop! How are you talking if this happens to you? Y'all be y'all be capping on this internet, bro. I hate that so much. Where on earth is this? All right, That's where on earth is this? Right? Who's there? And technically not Earth. Well, not with you as cool Earth, anyway. I swear to God, <laughs> asshole, show yourself. Show myself, I've shown. Where are you? Right here, at the end of your arm. Oh, hello, yes. There you go. Okay, so let me get this straight. I'm somewhere that's not what I would call Earth. He I'm go. seeing freaking dragons, and, oh yeah, I'm talking to a cop. Did I just do that? We did. I just move shit with my freaking mind. <laughs> yeah, okay, that is something I do now. I do magic, kill jacked right. up beasts. I'll probably right. fly next. Now you're just being ridiculous. Oh, that's too far. Good to know there was a line. Right, like, like, do you hear that dialogue? Do you hear that dialogue? Even the bracelet from another land or whatever is giving a little quips and one-liners. So why, why why would we be surprised if the character in the main character in the game is giving the quips and one-liners? Like that's what they're setting it up to be. 
the music they're giving you the cinematic i'm in another world music and they gave you the i'm a young lady from new york i'm giving you r&b hip-hop vibes underneath it because i'm from new york city like where where is that not connecting in your head maybe it's easy for me to understand because i'm from new york so we laugh at everything i don't we we was laughing at covid oh so we can't say that we was laughing at kofi Fay. we was laughing at uh it, it rhymes with donkey 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 trucks you know you know we, we can't say that one either um come on now y'all y'all killing me y'all killing me with this let's let's watch the rest of it R&B vibes. She's doing runs. Our land suffers. You are the only hope we have. You're special. You're the one that's planning on facing off with Sila. Tanta Sila is the strongest and most formidable of all the Tantas. So what? Are we gonna follow him? You will be doing our land a great service by killing her. Spoken. Frey. No name for a demon. I am the one you seek. The mm. one and only Tanta Sila. Elite. Spring. Yeah, so much for that. So much for that. <laughs> it's already about to be fall. But they said January 23rd. So you see, so you see, you guys see what I mean? Now let's go back to this other trailer one more time and watch this other trailer. Now that you've had the context and you've had some enlightenment from someone who's from where this character is from, which would explain the quirkiness. And I guess, I don't know if you want to call it cringe, whatever, call it cringe, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Like, let's watch this again. So let me get this straight. I'm somewhere that's not what I would call Earth. I'm seeing freaking dragons and, oh yeah, I'm talking to a cop. Yeah, okay, that is something I do now. I do magic, kill jacked up beasts. Right. I'll probably fly next. Uh-huh. January 24th. Now you mean to tell me, after all that I just spent 12 minutes explaining to you, and you watch that again, you really agree with these comments down here? You really agree with these comments down here? I'm not saying you got to listen to everything I say. I'm not saying I'm the M-Door, b -O. I'm just saying use your brain. And before you critique something, look into it first. Because I feel like a lot of people just saw the other negative comment. It's like monkey see, monkey do. Like people want to be a part of something, piling on top of something. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit like on this. I don't care. I don't care if it gets ratioed. And I'm gonna. I'm gonna retweet something positive about it. You know, like I, I'm tired of this culture where we just hate on everything. Like that's just so corny to me. Like, and the game is not even out yet. And, and that's the funny part too. Like a lot of these people in these comments and in these retweets are going to buy this game, play it and love it. That's what I don't get. Like we like like I guess people do the do the hating stuff for clout because I guess that's what's cool these days. It's cool to be a hater. It's cool to not, you know, to not mess with everybody and you know, it's cool to just be negative about everything. And that's sad that it's like that cuz it really wasn't always like that. I remember when hating people I remember when I grew how I grew up if you was a hater or a snitch or anything of that nature, like other things, I'm not even going to say, I'm not even going to say the other things I wanted to say. Then people looking at you like, you know, people looking at you funny, like for where I'm from, like when I, me, when I was growing up, growing up in the 90s and 2000s, now all of that is cool. It's cool to put out trash music. It's cool to have trash takes. It's cool to hate on everything. It's cool to be a snitch. Like, I don't understand, bro. Like, I don't know. Like I, I saw this and I like I saw all this and like I had to like cut on the camera and speak my mind. It's like it's like four in the morning right now. I'm actually clocked in. I'm actually working right now. Like it's crazy, bro. Um, 
But I don't know. I would like to have a dialogue with you guys. I would like to have a dialogue with you guys. I'm starting to see a lot of the same, a lot of y'all, you know, in the in the comments, you know, from the from other videos. So that means I'm starting to gain a little bit of an audience, which I find is so dope. I'm gonna start. I might start streaming on here for y'all so we can really chop it up. But um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, y'all be know the vibes. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. This is your boy Justice Falls. We out. One.